Hey, what's up everybody? This is Adam Roseland and we're going to talk Google ads for small businesses today. Our five step process to help you get three to 10 new clients every single month using Google ads. So the simple process is we're going to use keyword finder to find our highest buying intent keywords. Don't worry about this. We're going to run through this quick. Uh, we're going to run an audit uh, to find out what our competitors are doing with keywords, their ads, their offers, their landing pages. Uh, we're going to capture traffic with high intent. And then of course we're going to test. Uh, I'm going to walk you through how to set up a campaign, so don't worry about that. Then we're going to talk about uh, you know taking that traffic to a specific landing page, focus on conversions and tracking it, and then again test. Step five is going to be utilizing a follow-up automation to minimize response time and maximize conversions. Now this may not apply to every small business owner, um, however, uh, we found that it, it significantly increases our conversions when, uh, when applied to our clients. Um, a bonus step is going to be retargeting the traffic on Facebook and Instagram after they visit our landing page to it can increase our, our conversions even further. Now obviously this is a separate platform, it doesn't have anything to do with Google, um, but I do want to just explain it quickly because we do see skyrocketing conversions when we do this. Okay, so step one, using Keyword Finder to find the highest buying intent keywords. Now we've used a lot of different keyword tools. I'm gonna take you behind the scenes in just a second on this, but I wanted to be very clear. I've tried a ton of Keyword Finder tools or keyword uh, tools to find the most relevant, uh, highest search results, all the, that stuff. Um, by far, Keyword Finder is our favorite. Okay, so let's say you're a painting contractor, for example, as a small business. I can't do it for everything, so we'll just use painters. Um, so really what we want to do is, you know, what would people type into Google? Um, you know, painter near me would be first and foremost, right? And obviously what we're going to do is nail this down a little bit further. We're going to be looking for painter, painting companies, interior painters, exterior painters, painting contractors near me, professional painters. What we're going to see is a list of how many people are doing these searches, uh, what the competitive uh, cost per clicks are, um, and uh, a competitive score, like a keyword difficulty. So real simple, gives me a whole lot of different keywords that I'm going to be able to choose from, furniture painting, home painting, interior painters, like all that stuff. That's a great start to build out my keyword list. Now that we know our keywords, we're going to run an audit to find out what competitors are doing with their keywords, their ads, their offers, and their landing pages. Um, I use AdLab, and I'm going to take you behind the scenes to do that right now. Okay, so here we are in the back end of uh, ad lab and basically I can run a keyword in an area and so you can do Philadelphia you can do a state like Pennsylvania you can do a local town like uh, Berwyn um, you can do multiple states multiple cities all that stuff um, and basically what it does it just gives you a list of all the uh, the people that are advertising uh, how many keywords how many locations they're advertising in I pick three different areas near me how many ads they've got running and then you can uh, you can see their contact information if you want as well um, but really what it, what it does is let's just say we're looking for, uh, you know, we're, we are um, Arnold Painting Service. Um, what we can do uh, if you wanted to, um, if you're running ads, is see kind of a lot of infor information or you can just randomly pick somebody. So if I was Bob's Painting and I decide to pick Arnold Painting Service, um, I can see how many competitors there are. Um, I can look at the ads that are running. Um, and we'll go deeper into this. Um, we can see, uh, you know, overall how many competitors there are. Um, you know, who's, who's. Uh, well, it's not giving me that. Um, who's ranking in the maps? Um, you know, and, and it give me a list of. I did house painters near me. Um, what other keywords that are uh, these people are uh, are advertising on as well? So it really gives me a good feel for it. But I wanted to talk about the ads themselves. So, um, and let's look at competitor ads, for example. So. Um, you know the top scene ads. Uh, this is Arnold Painting, um, which uh, which is me um, in this example. And then if I go down to competitor ads, I can see like two dudes. I can see Angie, Blue Frog, Nolan Painting, um, and see what they're doing on their ads. I can see what the title is, what the uh, what the actual whether they're using phone numbers or not, um, whether they're using extensions of any sort. Um, you know, call outs, what have you, and then just see what their ads are. And generally speaking, the longer somebody's running an ad, I can test this every day, every week, whatever, you know, the more likely they are to be, uh, to be doing some kind of volume with their business. 
Um, I can also see if they're offering you know discounts or uh, any price points in their their advertising. Um, when we talked about um, again the ad being house painters near me, are they using house painters near me in the actual ad, um, or is it just a very generic like affordable exterior painting or number one rating? So from there, I can then see what their landing pages look like, and uh, what I'll do is I don't like to click on ads on Google, but I can see what somebody you know Nolan Painting's uh, landing page looks like. It's again focused on residential painting. Um, I can look at uh, Mil Militello painting. Um, again, see if they've got a phone number, email, you know what their landing pages look like and that way I can set mine up to look similar. Okay, so let's jump into Google Ads. What we're gonna do, um, real simple, is now that we've got some information on it, we're gonna click on uh, you know a new campaign, we're gonna select website traffic. Uh, I'm not gonna worry about goals or anything like that, and we're just gonna sit primarily in search. Um, I'm gonna just uh, you know use a generic painting website, and so I'll enter that information right here. And uh, campaign name, uh, you know, we can just call it search one. All right, and then we'll continue. What we'll do is set a daily budget. Uh, you know, you can set 10, 100, uh, 25, whatever your numbers are. Uh, what do we want to focus on? I like to focus on clicks personally because I don't want to get into any conversion stuff yet. Um, again, we're going to focus solely on the search network. Um, what we would do is then enter um, specific location, like uh, you know, my local area. So you know, you can target as many different areas as you want. Um, get into that. You want to target uh, English, and click next. Uh, now keywords. Now they're going to offer up a whole bunch of keywords. What I'm going to do is go back to the you know to the keywords that I like. So I'll bring over my keywords from here, and literally what I'm going to do is I'm just going to you know select all of them and uh, add them to a list, copy them, blah 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 blah. So I'm going to come back in here, and I'm just going to copy them all in. And obviously, you want to go through and just you know. Near me painter, for example, is no good. So I would just eliminate stuff that wasn't or wasn't exactly relevant to searches that I that I think is gonna you know work. If I don't do metal roofs, I'm gonna eliminate that. And then we go to our headline. And so again, what we're gonna do is um, you know type in uh, a headline that we think is relevant based on what we saw. We're gonna type in descriptions, and uh, you know from there we're gonna get it going. And obviously you have have a specific landing page set up. And then we're going to hit next and get, you know, and it'll, it'll all be set up. So as mentioned, we're going to capture traffic with high buying intent um, keywords um, by using simple targeted Google ads. And again, we're going to test. So we're going to create multiple different ads and see what's getting the highest conversion rates and clicks and the like. From there, we're now going to take it to a landing page, focus on conversions and tracking and test. And what we'll do is go behind the scenes at a landing page I created. So the focus of a landing page should be to get them to engage you one way or another, whether it's a phone or whether it's uh, through form submission. Make it brief, tell them who you are, what you do, a little bit about you, but the whole goal is to get them going here. And then of course what we're gonna do is split test. So we're gonna see how many conversions we get based on landing page results. So if we get 100 visits to this site, how many people are converting? And then we're gonna test a secondary one with a different layout or different color scheme. And again, see how many times we get conversions from 100 different visits. Okay, so let's talk quickly about how to use automation to increase your conversions. So what we do is we create, and this is our system, and there's a link for it here. Um, it's a simple automation that you know would would be like, hey, here's how we do exterior painting once they submit a form, and you know the whole idea would be to, uh, and I'm not sure why. There it goes. You know, autofill information, drive them to uh, you know a call to action, and schedule you know uh, schedule a visit um, for a quote or something like that. If I'm a painter, because obviously I need to be on site to give them pricing so that we can get this done. But sometimes people prefer to just get emailed or they. they they prefer to get text messages. So as soon as they submit that information, we're giving this over and, and you're sending this over in a minute, two minutes later, then we're sending an about email the next day. Um, you didn't schedule a call if they did, uh, didn't schedule if they did, we obviously take them out of this. Some insider information and then just automated follow-ups so that you don't need a salesperson to continue to call, but you can constantly be getting uh, little pokes because you need to get seven mentions of your name in somebody's head usually before they take action. So using automation usually gets this done for our client. 
And then again, really simply, we want to retarget them on Facebook and Instagram by, by putting up a Facebook pixel on that landing page so that we know that every single person that, that visits that landing page um, gets pixeled, and then we can create ads that do that same thing. They, they schedule appointments, they, they, they pr provide about us videos, stuff like that, all through Instagram and Facebook. So here's a simple recap. Uh, links are listed below. Uh, please let me know if you have any questions. We can help you guys run your own campaigns if you want, but this should be able uh, help you to you know get this done on your own.